My sister and I interviewed several people before we came to have my mom live here at the Bickford. Jackie, um, we were impressed with her from the beginning just because she's so real. You, you can just kind of tell that she'll be honest and, um, and we have found that to be true ever since my mom has come to live here. I met Jackie and she is a most wonderful personality and I liked her immediately and my uh, two granddaughters, daughter and grandson, they all agreed this was a place for me. Jackie? All right, let me think a minute how to put this. She listens, she's very capable, she knows what to do and how to do it. She's never grouchy. She greets you with a smile. Yep, she does. She works long hours. She works at anything that has to be done. I've seen her moving furniture from one room to another, and that's a difficult job. T things like that time and time again. I have seen Jackie actually roll up her sleeves. I've seen her in the kitchen with her hairnet on, cooking. Jackie will take on any task. I understand from taking care of plugged toilets to um, working on glasses when the lens fall out. She fixed your glasses. Well, one day I dropped my glasses, ran over them with my wheelchair. <laughs> She knew where to take them and get them straightened out. She was great, great help. To sum it up, she does things with a grace that's even difficult to define because it's so smooth, you have to stop and think to realize what she's doing. Oh, Jackie, you know that I told you I'm probably your worst patient here. always take care of everything. You're the best. Thank you. Jackie, I want to thank you for uh, putting your faith in your residence and um, for being so gracious to me. You have been wonderful. That's Jackie. Say like you're talking All right. to Jackie. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'd look at her. I'd say, Jackie, you are a wonderful friend. I can see you. I know you can help me. You're sympathetic. You're always, we always have a good laugh together. Hang around, kid, because I sure need you. <laughs> All said and done, I highly recommend that Jackie be appointed director of the year. It's Kansas City from Indiana. We give you Jackie Adams, one heck of a director. And we are hoping that she will be director of the year of this fine company. She deserves it. Thank you. But Laura's wonderful. I think her open door policy is great. Uh, I mean, you can walk by and, you know, if she's in there, you can disturb her and she never acts like you are disturbing her. You know, you're uh, always welcome. I felt very comfortable any time that I had a question or a concern. And many times I actually did just stop by Laura's office uh, just to make my inquiries and, and make sure that I was headed the right direction too. Laura, I, I really feel that um, I, I couldn't have made a better selection. Um, so happy that my uncle was with Bickford and um, I hope my mom will be here soon. When I saw this place, I decided this is who I wanted to be with it's at Laura's place. She was very good and she explained everything and, and was so helpful and took us around and showed us everything. I think she could go to the top of the ladder for any job she'd apply for. She is really nice and I, I don't see her that often because I'm in my room or 
They got something going on every minute, you know. You can go, walk. now we got a walking club. And I was just telling her I went around the building three times yesterday. <laughs> so I says, uh, that's a long walk. And the doctor says to me, did you, uh, do you exercise? And I says, I walk my hall every day three times. He says, I says, did you exercise? I said, don't you think that's enough exercise? And uh, everything is working out just perfect. She comes across as caring about people and caring to everybody. It's, it's, she just has a really good relational ability to listen to people well, to understand when we're hurting, um, to try and help us work through it. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being the person who cares about other people. Thank you for being willing to listen. Thank you for caring. Laura, I want to thank you for uh, all that you've done for myself and my mother here at Bickford. Uh, you have been just uh, such a, a ray of hope or just so great for uh, how my how everything has been done here. Uh, the care for my mother, it's, it's just such a, it's comforting for me because I, I feel safe knowing that if I'm not here, she's in good hands and everything else. You've just been fabulous and I just hope you get the award because I think you really deserve it. Dad's was difficult because he'd been in and out of the hospital. He'd been in rehab. We, he was, we tried to keep him home, so he was bounced all over the place. And it was good to get him in a stable environment where they were going to take good care of him. She just made it so easy for us to connect in, you know, and, and really showed us the ropes and um, just made us feel like part of the family. Being a director, you have a lot of responsibilities and stuff, but she just goes that extra mile to make each family feel important and taken care of. Randy, I just want to say that you are amazing at what you do. You are compassionate, you're caring, and I think in my chaos of last year, um, I really don't think I would have gotten through it as smoothly without, without your help. So I just want to thank you for everything for, uh, on behalf of my parents. And thank you for giving my dad the grandpa grin back. I've lived here almost nine years, and for years I asked if they couldn't please wash the windows on the outside of the building, and nothing ever got done. When Brandy came, I asked her, and within two weeks, we had people washing the windows on the outside of the building. So I immediately liked Brandy. <laughs> and when she came in to Bickford of Bloomington, Things were kind of in a mess. They really were. The ceiling had fallen in the dining room from frozen water pipes. And it had been sitting like that for three or four months and nothing got done. We were eating in the living room and Brandy came in and immediately that dining room was, the ceiling was fixed and we were back in the dining room. Brandy is someone, every time my dad has been in the hospital, he, she has come to visit. And it isn't because she has to. She's not evaluating him. She's not talking in that sense. She brings him a, some kind of a sweet little snack. She just talks and spends time with him. And I can't say enough for that. Every time he's been in the hospital, from there he has had to move to a skilled nursing center. And Brandy comes and visits there as well. And I think that's really something special because with as many people that live in this place, 
I'm sure she goes above and beyond like that for every resident that's here. Brandy, just wanna say congratulations for making the top four. Um, and I wanna say thank you for, everything just sounds so general, but it really is everything that she does for us. Um, you make my dad laugh, that's important. I love to hear him laugh, you make him laugh. Um, you make me laugh, you make me feel comfortable, you make my dad and my mom feel comfortable. Um, we feel like we're part of the Bickford family and it's mainly because of you, because of how the atmosphere is here in this building and thank you, thank you, thank you. She is a, she's fun, um, she's very compassionate about what she does. She's worked in healthcare for a long time. She knows it inside and out. Um, she loves the residents here. That's what she tells me more than anything. Well, I guess the first time I met Renee, I was very much impressed how she spoke to everyone and treated everyone the same. Everyone was important to her and she still continues to do that. Renee is our director here, and I really admire the way she handles things. In the morning she comes in and she usually goes around the tables in the dining room and says hello to all the residents and knows them by name. Renee, I'm very proud of you. Nobody deserves this more than for, from my point of view, more than you do. You have exemplified what I think Bickford is up is for. You've always been there for us, for not only for me and Deanna, but for our family too. And they, they appreciate that. The family, when they come and visit her, they see what's here. Thank you so much for being a great friend. Thank you for taking care of my mom while she's been at your facility and being so generous and kind to her. You are such a genuine person. You are so compassionate. You love so greatly, and you have been, um, you have done such a marvelous job here. Okay, Renee, first of all, I'd like to express my thanks uh, for your congenial personality and how you go around and make everyone happy. Renee, I want to thank you for your personal touch that you give to everything you do and we give someone a hug, different residents that have needed it. I think that's very important in this type of a living and I really appreciate all that you've done. Renee, I want to say thank you for making us feel welcome um, when we joined the Bickford community here. I would like to say thank you for your big laugh, sharing chocolate and silly things with my mom. Thank you for sharing silly jokes with me, honoring me um, with my fear and anxiety of uh, moving my mom. It's important. You do really important work. And you do it well. Not everyone does, but you do. And you do it with a smile. And I wanna say thank you for that. And my mom says thank you also. And keep doing it. So we're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs>